This short film demonstrates how easy the EQP111 ABS wheel speed sensor test unit is to use and how quickly it can identify if the speed sensor is functioning correctly. To operate this unit, we power it by its own source by pressing the power mode button. Let us have a brief look at some of its functions. First, we notice that the open circuit light is illuminated on the unit. Now this is because the test leads are not connected. This would be similar to an open circuit on the vehicle. If we hold the two test leads together, this would be similar to a short circuit on the vehicle. And we now notice that the short light is illuminated on the unit. Connecting the EQP111 can also assist in testing the wheel speed sensors quickly by monitoring the short or open light whilst moving the harness. And this can be done either on or off the vehicle. And this may assist for intermittent problems. On the other side of this unit, we have a passive and active light. Now this test unit is capable of testing both sensor types, but it is important for the technician to understand the differences to assist in diagnosing and testing. By pressing the power mode, I now have it on active test. If the wheel speed sensors have passed their tests on the vehicle, then the sensor simulation function may be used for further circuit tests on the vehicle. And this is outside of the wheel speed sensors. Now, if I press the power mode, I activate this function. During the simulation function, we can see the signal being directed directly to the ABS module for processing. Now, this signal can be visually monitored by the technician using a readily available scan tool. We're going to demonstrate an on-vehicle wheel sensor test on this vehicle using the EQP111. Now this would be required if the ABS fault light came on and a sensor fault code was logged. We connect both test leads of the EQP111 to the wheel sensor harness or, as in this case, directly to the sensor if there is no harness. At this point, the polarity is not important. Once the leads are connected to the sensor, we can attach the leads to the EQP111 Ensure the earth is also connected. Now we can switch the unit on and check for short or open circuits. If all is clear, we can proceed to the next test. Because this vehicle is fitted with active sensors, we select the active mode by pressing the power mode button. So we are ready for the next test. We are now going to rotate the wheel and monitor the rotation indicators. We expect a smooth movement of the test lights and check the signal error light does not illuminate. If the signal error light came on, then we would have to take a closer look at the sensor itself. Now the sensor simulation function would require connecting the EQP111 to the sensor harness of the ABS module, not the sensor itself. And this test, including all other tests, can be carried out on all the speed sensor circuits. All of these tests have been carried out in the workshop using the EQP111 and this is done without the need of a road test. No upgrades are required and all harnesses are supplied to make your job easier. Thank you for your time.